Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Medical Mania. Today in this video, I am going to explain more thing about thymus. If you haven't seen the part 1 video of thymus which is already uploaded on my channel, go check it out, link is in the description. Today in this video, I am going to talk about histology of thymus. Basically, thymus has two important structure. The first comes supporting framework which includes capsule, cellular cytoplasmic reticulum and interlobular septa. While the other structure is called as parenchyma that appears as various number of compartment which are called as lobule and this lobule have two region medulla and cortex. Let's look thymus diagrammatically. As you can see on the screen a structure that surround the thymus is called as capsule. Three lobules are visible. The darker region is called as cortex and the inner region is called as medulla. Blood vessel, interlobular septa and special hazel structure are also visible in the diagram. Let's move deeper into the supporting framework. The first come capsule. As you have seen in the diagram, the capsule is a structure that surrounds the thymus externally and is made up of connective tissue. The second comes interlobular septa. Capsule sends its septa deep inside the parenchyma dividing the lobule. The red arrow shows interlobular septa and it carries blood vessel, nerves and lymphatics. The third comes the cellular cytoplasmic reticulum. It is the supporting stroma of organ thymus which is made up of epithelial reticular cells. These are the stellate cell and the cytoplasmic processes that comes into contact with the processes of neighboring cells by means of desmosomes and thus form a cellular cytoplasmic reticulum. The thymic cytoplasmic reticulum is very different from the reticulum of any another organ as in another organ it's made up of reticular fiber but here it's made up of epithelial reticular cell. Let's see the diagram of epithelial reticular cells. In this diagram it is clearly shown epithelial reticular cell and their processes are connected via desmosome. This cytoplasmic reticulum supports the lymphocyte of thymic lobule and this was all about the supporting framework of thymus. Now let's move to the lobule part. Lobule has two regions, the medulla is the central region whereas cortex is the peripheral region. Medulla appears light stained due to the less densely packaging of lymphocyte while as cortex is dark stained due to the dense packaging of lymphocyte. Now let's learn more thing about medulla. Firstly, medulla has less number of lymphocytes present in it. A special round bodies about 30 to 100 nanometer in size are found in medulla. These are special type of epithelial reticular cell. They are eosinophilic meaning acidic in nature and their number increases with increasing in age. This body do not have any function which is well known but traces of calcinification are absorbed and this body are the last one to undergo involution. I have talked about involution in the part 1 video. You can go check it out. Involution is nothing but the shrinkage of thymus and replacement of parenchyma with fibrophagy tissues. And these bodies are called as hazel carpuscles or hazel bodies. Let's talk about cortex. Cortex is densely packed with lymphocytes. Few macrophages and reticular cells are also seen in the cortex. More lymphocytes are present in this and so they are basic in nature due to presence of such a huge number of lymphocytes in it. Large size lymphocytes are found on the outer region of cortex that is outer cortex that undergoes mitosis to produce various smaller size lymphocytes which are pushed deeper inside the cortex. The region is called as inner cortex. Vast number of lymphocytes produced in the inner cortex only few lymphocytes resist the immunotolerance and leave the thymus as immunocompetent T lymphocyte via postcapillary venule in the medulla. While as majority of lymphocytes produced via mitosis die in the thymus itself as it do not show any immunotolerance and are later phagocyte by the macrophages. Now let's study the most important feature of thymic cortex that is the blood thymus barrier. The screen shows the diagram of capillaries found in the thymus cortex. As you can see the capillaries present in the thymus cortex show a distinct thick basement membrane and are surrounded by the processes of epithelial reticular cells and this form the blood thymus barrier. As the name suggests it is a barrier between the blood bond antigen and maturing T lymphocyte. It exists in the cortex region only making the cortex immunologically protected region. 
macromolecule cannot pass from the capillary to the thymic parenchyma and hence protect the maturing clean lymphocyte. The structure involved in the making of blood thymus barrier, the first come the tight junction between the endothelial cell of capillaries, the second is the basal lamina of endothelial cell, the third is the perioascular connective tissue, and the fourth is layer of epithelial reticular cell. This four structure makes the blood thymus barrier and protect mature T lymphocytes from macromolecules. Now let's discuss about the two important cells that are found in thymus. The first come lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are derived from mesoderm. I've talked about this in part 1 video. The type of white blood cell. They are produced or developed in the bone marrow. They are found in both blood as well as lymph. And they play an important role in immune system. The second comes epithelial reticular cell or thymic epithelial cell. These are of six different types. The first three are found in the cortex, while the four to six are found in the medulla of the thymus. The type 1 cell are the cells that are involved in the making of blood thymus barrier, while type 2 and 3 are found in the inner and outer cortex and they form the cytoplasmic reticulum. Type 5 and 6 are the part of cells that are found in the hazel carpusel or around hazel carpusel and they destroy the T cell with self antigens by phagocytosis. And the type 4 are the cells in the deeper part of cortex and medulla, meaning in the cortical medulla junction. Some of the epithelial reticular cells are called as thymic nurse cell as they help in the maturation of T lymphocyte. The primary function of this epithelial reticular cell is to destroy those T lymphocytes that appears as pathogen to them. They do this by expressing large part of genome that codes for the self protein. While moving from the cortex to the medullary region, lymphocyte comes into contact with various epithelial reticular cells. If this epithelial reticular cell recognize particular lymphocyte as pathogen or incompetent T lymphocyte, then they destroy them. This cell also release some hormones like thymosine, thymopoietin and thymomulin. Thymosine alpha and beta are responsible for the transformation of stem lymphocyte into maturing lymphocyte, while thymopoietin is responsible for the production of lymphocyte, while as thymomulin helps to induce or enhance the function of T cells. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like the video. Do subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at the red medical minion.